Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is about Power Automate and Chat GPT's prompt. So how you can input the data to Chat GPT and get prompts into text. So that's the area we are going to see a demo. So we have one a new create text with GPT preview feature. Uh, that is a part of AI Builder. So we have to have the AI Builder enabled or at least like have the trial license for the AI Builder to try out this feature. So right now in I'm in uh, one of my environment that is in US region and I have this AI builder enabled so that uh, the prerequisite of that that uh, your environment should have a dataverse as a database then only you would able to leverage the uh, AI builder into the trial mode itself otherwise like if you have wish to like uh, already pay for this or want to add this as a add-in for your automate license then you can very well do that so mine is into trial but uh, for this demo it's fine i can just simply go to my flows so that i can start building one new flow which would actually look out my emails content and then based on chat gpt's prompt it will revert the content back to my email after doing some calculations after doing whatever action i wish to do from gpt so i'm just creating one automated cloud flow and i'll say this name as extra email content and the trigger would be when an email arrives into my mailbox and I'll use this email version 3 so what we are going to do so whenever an email is containing some specific data so let's say it's a sale purchase order uh, for multiple items uh, laptops cameras and it's having individual item prices so my intent is gpt would do the calculation for the entire invoicing and then send an email back to me uh, with the total invoice amount so i'll just say uh, when an email arrives and the filter should be let's say purchase order so that only these sort of emails should be scanned and in the next step i would convert the text which are i'm getting from this email uh, the HTML which I'm getting from this email to text so I'll use the HTML to text converter in the content conversion con conversion and the HTML to text this is also in preview where I would specify change the content of my body of email into the plain text and then I would use the AI builder so I'll just go to this AI builder action and then we'll try to find out the GPT with the GPT Creek keyword. So oh, here it is, create text with GPT preview. So it's in preview. If I click on this, it will give me an area where I can write in my prompt. So it's a, I mean, I can take the input from my previous, previous sections or I can create a prompt. So it will open this side screen where I can actually test my prompts, whether I'm getting the right template or not. So these are a uh, few templates start from blank, summarize text, these are there. But what we are going to do, we are going to have this prompt to be input as plain text from the previous section. And then if I click on create prompt, it will give me an area where I can test out my prompt. So for example, I'm saying uh, 50, please calculate, please get me total invoice amount for below and that is five camera each price one hundred ten dollars and ten laptops each price twelve hundred dollars and I'll just just doing a test so it will should do the, all the calculations for me And over here right now you can see like total amount is it did everything and it gives me the final amount as total amount is this so this is the intent I am going to extract the body of my email which would have the same kind of content with the purchase order uh, with a number of items and my GPT would convert that into total uh, invoice amount and then send an email back to myself or as a further step we can have uh, the generated PDF with this total amount or filled uh, amount like from the email 
and then send the email directly, the invoice uh, PDF directly to the customer. So, but I would just uh, restrict the scope of this video till like sending an email to myself. And over here, I can just write before this uh, input text, I can write what it should do. So, I will be just writing, please calculate the total invoice of all items mentioned in below text so so that i can get an answer from this email body and in the next step i'll just send out one more email to myself so that i should be sure that uh, the total amount has been calculated and sent back to me i'll just say send an email and this would be myself and i'll just say that as invoice amount in body the text the converted text or the prompted text from this chat gpt not here but into body and i'm just saving it and we'll do a test run i'll just open the outlook from here so that i can send an email to test our flow and in the new email i'll first of all i'll say what is order so that it can filter my subject based on my subject and two is myself and in the purchase order i'll just specify item sold in last month then camera each price see in the dollars 14 laptops price $900 and 5 printers price $400 I am just sending this purchase order to myself and look forward for our flow to extract the content and then return the content total invoice amount back to us So we just got an email from our flow that total amount paid and it also gave the calculation that how it calculated the same amount and uh, that's how like uh, the total amount is being calculated. If I just go to edit my workflow once again, I'll show you one more thing. So right now, whatever like prompt or the answer we got from GPT, we actually sent that out in email. But if you look at my this flow, you will see that I'm getting one of the warnings. So it's not error. So that's why we are able to run our flow. But it's saying the details, the create text with GPT actually doesn't have a content approval. What that means is we can actually put a one stage in between that would require a manual approval of whatever results we are getting. So for based on, based on the, uh, I mean, multiple complex calculation or something which we want to have a uh, one more look or a reviewed uh, thing, then we can put a, in place approval uh, with a step start and wait for an approval of text uh, so it's, it's a different one if i add it uh, this flow and put one more action over here you will find that that uh, start and wait so the usual one which we usually use for any approval is start and wait for an approval but this is for text start and wait for an approval of text where it gives us a prompt where we can put the text which is generated from gpt and we can put uh, the manual reviewer for that and then only like uh, do the final action. So that thing like uh, once it actually gets live from preview, then we can actually work on a multiple use cases, how it can be the complex thing can be calculated using this create text with GPT. So the objective of video was clear, like how we can actually uh, read out the emails unstructured content and then have that uh, GPT responded back on the based on the content of uh, the email. So that's it for today. If it's helpful, then please do drop your comments and do drop your like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.